audio description a person with a white kofia with green embroidery shaved head very light skin trees in the background and a t-shirt of a victorious Palestinian girl. Today's is the first day of my fast for liberation. Liberation fast. I stopped eating and drinking yesterday night, but today is the first day. Um, yesterday I found an article that was written, co-written by my friend, Dr. Rifat al -Arir. It was published recently, a month ago, so I haven't read it before. And although I knew about the cooperation that Rifat was having with people in Brazil, I didn't know all the nitty-gritty of the details. Um, And it, it, it shocked me, shocked me and hurt me at the same time. I kind of pride myself that I was the person who got Rifat to, to open his classes to the theatre. As when we, we first met, he was teaching Shakespeare from a literal point of view and I was doing Shakespeare from a theatre point of view. Um, And we had many hours discussions about that. And then he adopted some theatrical me methods. Um, we were planning to teach a course together online during the pandemic, but I did not have internet. Things at the end didn't work out. Reading the article, I can see that he went away, he went in my direction, in a way, in, in the things that he was searching, in the things that he was researching. And I felt this, the deep pain of, of all the conversations, all the missed conversations, all the missed moments, all the missed projects, the missed moments that will never be, that could have been, that the seeds of the potentials are there and those would never sprout, would never blossom. Today is the 29th of June and I've chosen this day to, to start my fast. I could have started it on the aid or or the new year, which is soon coming, the Muslim new year. But the 29th of June is, is, a, is the anniversary of the death of my best friend who died already 31 years ago. And I might speak about her death in a, in a different time because it's not disconnected to the genocide in Gaza. And it's been 31 years today and it feel, still feels like it's today and it still feels, I still feel the pain of all, all the seeds that have not sprouted and all the all the moments that were not lived. And this is kind of what I want to leave with you today, that all the numbers that we are reading from all the stories, all, all the people, all the statistics from Palestine, they're all people. And they're all people with stories and with moments, with seeds that needs to be sprouted. And, and when they vanish, that those seeds don't sprout. 
and they leave behind them people missing missing those moments and they leave behind them even if no one remembers them the moments and spans the, the lucky minutes the pain of the potential will always be there will always echo and will stain our humanity if we let it continue and and i wanted to to point the people that are interested to the stories the stories of breaking this multitude into into personal stories when we hear about 21,000 children without not being accompanied by adults can you imagine one child can you imagine your child in the world without an adult what does it mean really what what is the story there what are the moments that this child experiences and how does it how do we put together a life made of those moments those seeds sprouting and dying some seeds that should never have sprouted, should never have existed. And down I, I will link, I will put three links. And one is to a new film by Al Jazeera with the executive producer Laila El Arian. The night won't end. Uh, there is a beautiful, beautiful interview with with Lila on the last live stream from Electronic Intifada, you will find from Wednesday. The last live stream was one of the most heart wrenching live streams that I have watched, and I would really recommend watching all of it. And one can also just watch the segment of the interview that I've linked for the documentary, it tells the stories three stories of three families in Gaza. Um, the YouTube has an age limit. You need to be registered. I don't, you know, you need to have an account. You need to be registered in order to be able to watch. But the direct link in Al Jazeera does not require that. And the second link is from Gaza Unlocked, gazaunlocked.org which have newly launched um, a project telling stories of displaced people. It's been, it's been commissioned by the university in Malaya. So go and read the stories. And of course, one cannot speak about not being numbers, but being stories without actually linking to we are not numbers. Um, who beloved Dr. Rifat El Arayir has been one of the co-founders. So please check out those links and and remember all. Remember that we are not numbers and we are all made of so many moments that has the right to sprout. Awesome.